What's up, political media? This is Lamar. So, John Gray is back in the news. And it's, he's not back in the news for begging and crying and trying to fake as though he's in a happy marriage or trying to make excuses for his cheating and indiscretions. This time he's in the news because of the lawsuit that uh, between him and Ron Carpenter. For those that don't know who Ron Carpenter is, Ron Carpenter is the white gentleman um, that was the pastor of the big church in Greenville, South Carolina called Redemption Church. Remember, he decided he was going to semi-retire and go to San, San Jose. Um, and then he said he was going to start a new church in San Jose or take over a church in San Jose. So, oh, just a big mess. I don't think he really knows what he wants to do. But he kind of, he called himself trying to really set himself up. When, once I get to the end of this, you'll see how he tried to set himself up um, to be set for life. All right. So he reached out to John Gray, who was at Lakewood Church, which is Joel Osteen's church. Y'all know Joel Osteen. This is my Bible. You know, a real nice, real nice, soft-spoken past in Houston. So he was on the roster there. He was plucked up by Ron Carpenter to go to Greenville, South Carolina. He moved his family and a lot and some others with them to South Carolina and took over the church. They handed it off to him. They changed the name from Redemption to Relentless. Um, a lot of the members, you know, a lot of them stayed, a lot of them left because they were like, I mean, this is a big old multicultural church. It was a multicultural church. Um, but, you know, a lot of them white folks were like, mm, side eye and John Gray, who was this, who the Negro all of a sudden about to take over the church and then I passed to going to San Jose, California, start another. So a lot of people didn't take too kind to it, but John Gray did increase the membership because a lot of people there took to him. They really liked him when he was, when we see him on TV preaching at Lakewood. And that's honestly, that's because we didn't know a lot about him. Let's be honest. We didn't know a lot about him. I mean, he had the reality show on own, but we didn't know all the intricacies of old John Gray. And now that we know those in intricacies, kind of a bad taste in our mouths, eh? Just a little bit. So back to my story. He took over to church. John Ron Carpenter went to San Jose. However, they made an agreement, according to Ron Carpenter and according to legal documents, that Ron was hoping to get a little over $6 million in payouts for reti for retirement. That's where that retirement part came, piece came in from earlier. I don't think that happened. I'm not sure if it's, it happened also because Ron Carpenter filed to, to evict uh, John Gray early last year for not um, sticking to obligations as far as the lease goes. I'm not sure if he put that whole $6 million in the, as far as part of the lease or what, but he basically saying that, that John Gray wasn't paying his bills and wasn't paying for the property properly and wasn't adhering to the agreement. He tried to evict him. It went on for about 10 months, and finally they came to a conclusion. He, John Gray wasn't evicted. He was able to keep the church, and he and Ron came to some sort of arrangement to where John would keep it, and, and they were both satisfied, I guess, right? So that was October. Now we're in, what, January 2021? And John Gray is now filing, last week filing that Ron Carpenter is not adhering to the new agreement. <laughs> you know, this is embarrassing. This is embarrassing to the, uh, to the community of God, to the Christian world. These mega churches battling in the media, in court, over tangible, lifely, or earthly, earthly things, over money and, and property. And it's so petty. While you got one pastor, John Gray, who's in the news all the time because he can't keep his uh, pants on and continues to, to cheat on his wife as it relates to inappropriate conversations and bringing women to hotels. He can't, he can't do right in that regard. And then you got Ron Carpenter, 
who wants to retire, don't want to retire, want to retire, don't want to retire, trying to get money uh, out of the, the Negro preacher that he brought in to knowing that he was going to bring in a whole bunch of black folks into the church. And I guess he thought he was going to have this Negro preacher make him some money while he sits in California on the beach and gets a salary from another church there. I think that's what he thought. While I'm not a fan of John Gray whatsoever, not even a little bit no more. I lost all respect for him. I still have to identify when I see someone trying to be a shyster. So I kind of got to be with John on this whole relentless redemption feud lawsuit thing because I think uh, Ron Carpenter knows what he's trying to do here. And he's dragging his feet now. And because he's dragging his feet, uh, John Gray has gone to court and said, hey, he's not adhering. What, what he, <laughs> he's not adhering to what we agreed. He filed a motion to force him to adhere to what they agreed. Brian Carpenter's attorney is saying that they are working towards, it's taking longer than they thought. There's third parties involved that we have to uh, satisfy as well. And, and they're trying to change the agreement to some degree. And John Gray folks are saying, no, this is what we agreed to. Let's, make, let's, get, let's get to the end of this. Then Ron Carpenter came back and says, I don't know why John is trying to bring this into the media and back into the courts. All I want is trying to set him up for success. I mean, I gave you, come on, boy. I gave you this. He didn't say this part, but I'm, this is what I think he's saying. Come on, boy. I didn't gave you a church in South Carolina. What else you want? I set you up, boy. I'm trying to set you up for success. You're going to bite the hand that feeds you? Yeah, he is biting the hand that feeds you. <laughs> and y'all both looking horrible in the process. Um, the petty, the extent of petty on this is even worse. Ron Carpenter is even open, moved back, kind of, to South Carolina. While he has a church itself in San Jose now, California, other side of the world, I mean, other side of the country, he's opening a, he's opened a church. The grand opening is at the end of this month, in the January, in the convention center, which is just a stone's throw across, across the way from John Gray's church. Literally, an eye shot. John Gray's church has a small airport here. Other side is the convention center, and that's where he's renting out space for his church and eventually wants to purchase to be right across from his old church that he wants back <laughs> from the brother that he gave it to. It's quite interesting. Can y'all get it together in these churches? Get it together. It's COVID going on. People barely trying to, people trying to battle whether they either can feel like going in or safe to go into these churches or not, or watch online. And y'all having these foolish, petty lawsuits and playing out stuff in the media about earthly things, money and property, trying to get over on each other. It's embarrassing. What are your thoughts? What do you guys think about this? Comment, like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments what you guys think. Peace out.